know, when I look around at all the entrepreneurs who are grinding it out, spending 70 to 80 hours per week growing their business, you have to ask yourself the question, at what cost? Hi, my name is Tim Uchuk, and in this podcast, we're going to be exploring the tools, tactics, and strategies for crushing it and scaling your business without making the ultimate sacrifice of your time and freedom. Hey, what's up guys? Tim Uchuk here, and I just got back from dropping off our daughter at gymnastics and thought I would hop on and I wanted to share a book that we are going through in our book club right now. We're kind of cheating actually. We are not reading the entire book. We use a, uh, an app called Blinkist, so blinkist.com, and you can get um, audio summaries that are like 10 minutes long. Um, but I want to share with you a book that I probably recommend to all of my teams and team members and it's one of my top three mindset books probably think about it on a weekly basis and have for the last two decades it served me really well when I was forming my principles uh, when I was in my early 20s and I was navigating the world of like sales and building and and working with teams these four agreements have stuck with me and um, I want to share them with you here today because they've been completely transformative for me um, comes from a book called The Four Agreements, and it is, it's a short read. It is um, pretty simple, but at the same time, it's very profound if you really think about and internalize these, these mindsets, these agreements, as they call them. Basic premise of the book is uh, when we're born, our minds are wired um, in a pure way, and we don't have some of the bad habits when it comes to mindset when we're first born and, and they become learned habits and behaviors um, oftentimes taught by our, our parents. And we have to go through a series of, of unlearning in order to get back to, um, and when you see kids, they've got those pure eyes and, and they follow these four agreements when they're, when they're young. Um, so I'll go through them right now and it'll, it'll make sense as we go through it. But my goal for you is to uh, internalize and think about these four agreements and see if you can adopt and, and adapt them in, in some way to your daily life. Um, to challenge how you currently think about things. And uh, you might have some patterns within your mindset now. Um, and if you use these as countermeasures to those negative patterns, I think they're gonna serve you well. So the four agreements, let's go with number one. These might be in the wrong order, but uh, I'll, go, I'll go through all four of them. And they all kind of uh, interconnect here. So number one is be impeccable with your word. Very simple, but powerful at the same time. Be impeccable with your word forces you to say no because we have to realize and deal with reality. If, if we're people pleasers and we're not impeccable with our word by saying yes to everything, then we're breaking promises because there's only 24 hours, we're only one person. And so this for me helps me to get grounded in being able to say no because if I'm impeccable with my word, it means I can say yes to everything. So I have to develop and cultivate a way of saying no which is the only way forward if you want to be impeccable with your word. So being impeccable with our word forces us to you know, deal with reality. Um, it's going to improve your reputation in the long run because you're going to be grounded in saying yes and saying no to the right things because people will be able to trust you and know that you're going to follow through because you're always impeccable with your word. So that's number one. Um, the agreement number two is don't make assumptions. Don't make assumptions. So think in terms of if you're driving through rush hour traffic and you get cut off and, and your, your heart rate starts to go up and you get upset because you think you start to take it personally, which is related to another agreement. But um, making assumptions is that somebody is doing it because of you, whereas you don't know if they're rushing to the hospital or maybe they just got fired from work. You have no idea what they're going through. And so oftentimes when we make assumptions, we're living in this alternate reality and it can completely mess up our day by going down this rabbit hole of assumptions which are oftentimes negative. And when we agree with ourselves to not make assumptions, then we can put all that stuff to rest and focus on the areas that we can actually control. Because at the end of the day, we have no idea what somebody's going through truly. We have no idea what's going on in their heads. And when we make assumptions, then it's a complete waste of our energy and it's a, it's a negative um, mindset. And so if you can cultivate a habit of not making assumptions, it can completely transform your life because you're gonna be living in a world that is not based on this, like these layers of fiction that are oftentimes negative. 
Okay, so agreement number three is always do your best. Again, it's very simple. It's something that we teach our kids, but if you really think about and you really apply this in your daily life to just always do your best, given your current circumstance, given your current resources, everything that, that you have, whatever your situation is right now, as long as you're doing your best, it's going to allow you to look back on the day, look back on the week, look back on the month, and have no regrets. You can say, I did my best. And so if you approach an attack every single day by giving it your best, you're gonna live a life without regrets. And this pattern's also going to lead to uh, winning more promotions. If you work on a team, you're gonna get promoted more. Uh, you're gonna get more customers. If you're always doing your best, you're gonna get more referrals if you're always doing your best because that becomes your standard and that becomes your reputation. Um, number four, and these all kind of interconnect, is um, not taking things personally. Now something new that's come on the scene for those of us who are old enough to remember a world before social media. Um, now with social media, people are much more critical of anything that they see because they can hide behind the veil of, of social media. And so if you ground yourself on a daily basis in this principle of not taking things personally, it's kind of similar to not making assumptions, but when people criticize you, it's really usually due to their own insecurities and they're projecting almost looking in a mirror when they're criticizing you. Maybe they're jealous, maybe they're insecure. But if you don't take things personally and just realize that's, that's them, this is you, you can only control your behaviors, your decisions, then it makes it much easier to, to navigate through the days and through the weeks. And it's also a great principle that you can teach your kids as they grow up and start to navigate and deal with social media as well. And at the end of the day, oftentimes there's nothing that we can do to change people's minds. So putting energy into it is not useful. As long as we're, we're doing our best, we're impeccable with our word, right? Those other agreements are going to feed this as well. So at the end of the day, you can't take things personally because you know you've done your best, you're not making assumptions, you're being impeccable with your word, right? So therefore we don't need to take things personally and we can't take things personally. And so remember, at the end of the day, it's impossible to please everybody. If you try to please everybody, you're gonna be miserable and you're gonna be reactive, right? You're reactive to the world around you. So instead, we wanna be rooted and grounded in principle and just let the results take care of themselves. So again, these are the four agreements. It's a book that has stood the test of time with me over the last two decades. I probably think about these on a weekly basis. We just covered it in our book club. And again, it is uh, be impeccable with your word is number one. Uh, number two is don't make assumptions. Number three is always do your best. And number four is don't take things personally. So if you wanna look up the four agreements, again, you can go to a, an app like Blinkist and you can check it out there in, in like a 10 minute book summary or you can, it's a short read, you can grab it on Amazon. So hope that helps guys and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Hey, Tim Uchuk here. And real quick, if you enjoyed this podcast episode, if you could take a couple quick seconds to give it a rating, it would be very much appreciated. And secondly, if you're looking for more tools and strategies on how you can crush it in life and business, just head on over to bookwithtim.com where I've put together a free case study which shows you how to unlock unprecedented freedom today by using the two power levers. Just head on over to bookwithtim.com. Until next time, wishing you success and freedom in your business. Cheers.